Russian President Vladimir Putin on Thursday authorized a special military operation in Donbas, and Ukraine confirmed that the military targets across the country were under attack. The ongoing Ukraine crisis has drawn mixed reactions in the international community. The United Nations is planning to allocate 20 million U.S. dollars from the Central Emergency Response Fund to meet the urgent needs in Ukraine. IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva on Thursday expressed deep concerns over the Ukraine crisis, noting that the multilateral lender is assessing the implications. Some countries have called on Russia and Ukraine to de-escalate the conflicts and negotiate for a peaceful solution. Menegaskan kembali agar semua pihak tetap mengedepankan perundingan dan diplomasi untuk menghentikan konflik dan mengutamakan penyelesaian damai. Mexico's position has been very clear. We are going to be very clearly against the use of force and in favor of the United Nations resolutions. U.S. President Joe Biden announced on Thursday additional sanctions against Russia and the deployment of more troops to Europe as conflicts in Ukraine continue to evolve. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on Thursday announced a new round of severe sanctions against Russia, aimed at excluding Russian banks from the British financial system. Italy Thursday said is fully allied with its EU and Western partners in terms of response to the latest development. Meanwhile, Denmark said it will accept refugees fleeing from Ukraine.